What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel X-Man & Co. Today we're going to do a beautiful rack of lamb in the pizza oven with a nutty crust. Stay tuned. I want to thank each and every one of you guys watching our content. For those of you that, that decided to subscribe, we really appreciate it. We're close to the 500 mark and X-Man & Co thought it well that we should maybe do a cook, 500 grams of patty on a burger, 500 grams french fries, 500 ml beer obviously. Cook that, have a little bit of a challenge between the two of us and eat up as quickly as we can. If that's something you guys would like to see, just to show our appreciation for the 500 mark, then please comment below. Let us know that something we should do in the next few videos, we will definitely do that then. To you guys and your health, cheers. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Firstly, what we need is our olive oil and then salt and pepper and whatever else we want to put on this fantastic cut of meat. We're not going to use too much olive oil as we've got a beautiful fat cap here already. We're just going to make sure that it's covered all over so our salt and pepper will stick. We're going to add some salt, some pepper. We want to keep it simple. A little bit of paprika. We want to grab all the spices that we've missed here. We're going to do exactly the same as what we did on the other side. To complement our dish today, we're going to do some vegetables on the side, so let me prep that quickly. We're going to leave the vegetables inside the pizza oven for about 20 minutes. We're going to remove it and once our rack of lamb is ready and resting, we'll put these guys in for another 5 minutes. We're going to heat our pan for our rack of lamb in order for us to sear the meat. Normally your butcher would take care of the French cut. You can just make sure it's nice and clean on the bone side. So that's what it looks like. You normally have eight fingers. We've got seven here today. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut straight in the middle. There you go. So it's easier to handle and we're going to make two beautiful lamb racks. Let's go sear these babies. been about 20 minutes so I'm going to remove our vegetables. I've seared our meat on all sides for about two three minutes a side. Now we're going to take some mustard and then put our beautiful crust mix all over this piece of meat ready for the oven. You can hear the crust already from the searing so we're just going to put some mustard all around this beautiful piece of meat. You could use any mustard, Dijon, anything you 
like this is basically our agent that we use to get all our spices to stick to the meat and obviously it's going to give some flavor as well eh? we'll obviously leave all the quantities in the description below you can use whatever spices you feel you want to experiment with be liberal don't be shy so we're going to leave these guys in here for about 15 minutes and hopefully we get our desired 135 Fahrenheit which is medium rare and then we'll rest it for about 5 to 10 minutes. Every 5 minutes or so we just turn this skillet so that one of the sides are facing the fire. We manage the heat that we need on the meat through moving the skillet from right to left, away from the fire and using the heat of the floor. Warmer close to the fire and colder to the sides. Right guys, it's been about 18 minutes. We've got an internal temp of 135 Fahrenheit. That's just below rear, so I think it's time to take it out. Let's have a look. That's beautiful, look at that. Look at the crust there. Looks like it's burned, but it's not. It's just the crust. All right, let's go check it out. We're gonna let these babies rest for about five to 10 minutes. Guys, the moment we've been waiting for. Look at that crust. Don't know if you can see. It's beautiful. Right, let's do this. Look at those juices, look at that. It's that time, that special time that we've all been waiting for. It's time to taste this baby. Have a look at this guys. Just have a look at that. Hey, look at that juice is flowing. I think it's time to have a taste. Let's do this. Hmm. Wow. That works for me. Wow, amazing. The mixed tree nuts, salt and pepper, even the paprika is coming through and those garlic flakes, fantastic. Guys, you know the story. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. As always, comment below. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Shh.